Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with Off the Board with Pineapple Papers. And this is going to be day 13 of, um, of the month of, of July in which I'm doing a video every day. And most days when you tune in, I'm doing several different challenges, uh, kind of stacking them, combining them, whatever. Today, it's just a lift of a, of a Pinterest pin. And I've got this pin here that just struck me because it's got lots of geometric shapes, some uh, like cup circles. I, I love the color scheme, but mine's gonna be different, of course. My photo is not black and white. It's a really colorful one taken when my son took his two daughters on a walk in the park nearby and someone has painted the inside of a tunnel that goes under the access road to get you into the park. And so I thought the colors in there were just amazing and I love the expression on the girls' faces. It's just beautiful. So this weekend I've been doing a, um, a cyber crop with Mind the Scrap and I've had uh, my Mind the Scrap kits uh, out and I've, I've decided that I'm doing this layout with pre-existing scraps. So some of these scraps actually had some ragged edges and I squared them off, but basically these are the sizes and the scraps I have. I didn't worry about color coordination with the photo because the photo has all the colors and these scraps have all the colors. So I'm gonna kind of, uh, I've, I've also noticed that there are lots of stars in here and I've got some stars. There are hearts and I don't think I pulled any hearts. Oh, wait, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm. When you do a cyber crop, you tend to get really into um, trying to, so I produced 19 layouts through the, the, the weekend. And when you do that, you tend to try to uh, kill as much um, stash as you have. So I've got these black hearts that I can use this pink might also be useful. And I've got these um, sheets that used to have full words on them, and some of them still do. I'm going to use this word capture and the word fun for um, the title. I'm gonna use some of these little shapes um, there, and then these, this foam has both stars and hearts and this hashtag sign. I don't think I have any, oh yeah, the little plus signs. There are plus signs on this one too. So I'm gonna try to do some stamping of geometric shapes as well as just kind of pasting some on there. First off, before I do any, um, before I, I put anything else on there, I'm, I've got my pay, um, my Vicki Booten um, mixed media foundations paper, so it can stand up to any, uh, there's a, stamp I want to use there too. It can stand up to any wetness that I put on, but I, I hope not to use a whole lot of wetness. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to emulate some of these splatters with my dilutions. I, I'm going to do some sprinkles, some, some just splatters, kind of uh, a lot over in this area where the photo cluster will be, and then even some kind of around here where this side cluster is going to be. So there's that, and now what I want to do is make a big droplet, and I'm not sure 
those are, that's just coming out splatters. So, I think what I'm gonna do is borrow, and I, I may end up being sorry I did this. I'm trying to find a place to put this down. Um, here's a piece of paper towel. So I'm gonna put it there and I'm going to find, I've got this dark teal. This has a dropper and I'm gonna maybe do a, a drop or two. This is kind of putting out bubbles and that's because I shook it. So now that I've got that there, I want to do uh, my straw that I was gonna use. Let me just do it this way. That's not gonna work. So I'm going to step up for a minute and get a straw. Okay, that worked. And then if I blow straight down, then I'm gonna have to stand up to do this. I'm gonna try. That's not really working. There we go. And then if I go this way, and get some going out like that. Okay, it's beginning to look like, um, I don't know, weird animals. And the funny thing is, this is not at all what I was gonna use the dropper for. I was gonna actually use it for the black. Ooh, look how cool that is. Okay, so I am gonna do that now. I'm gonna get all of the this out and I'm gonna fill it with black and do some bigger splatters and I'm gonna do a drop here and a drop here and then I'm gonna go back and do some of these okay that's not good now I'm gonna put this back in here fully realizing this is liquid watercolor from pink fresh it's not an ink and this is a um, Diane Reevely's uh, Dilutions Shimmer Sprays. And so it is an ink, and it's an ink with mica in it, so it has, um, it, it develops a sheen when it dries. So let me get my, oops, I got it straight off onto the glass mat, and that's okay. I can clean that up pretty well. Let's go. Get some black kind of interacting with that green. Whoops, again. The, the wettest ones I had on here were close to the edge. Okay, let's see if we can go back here. Blow it back that way. Oh, 
Okay, fun with inks and straws. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to call that done, and I actually am not sure where I want the photo cluster to be, but it's going to have a different look from the original. Let me do this and okay that is okay with me i think what i'm going to do is let me kind of get that if i smash it down like that it actually kind of develops, um, I'm getting kind of smooshes of the colors around on the paper. I'm gonna get some of this teal and get it over here. Okay, so that's kind of giving it that nice messy look. I'm gonna do the photo cluster here and my horizontal line there, um, and we'll see, we'll take it from there. Okay, using this as my guideline, this, this little guy lets you look at it again, I'm going to try to uh, do some of the, the circle-y things. And I'm gonna do that with a stamp right here, and I'm gonna ink it up with a third color, which is gonna be this um, lime green, and it's a chalk ink. So it's gonna have a little bit different kind of look. from other inks. It will have um, kind of a soft look. Um, I'll overlap those there. And I'm gonna do another couple of them over here where this side cluster is going to be. And I may build that side cluster just to get a couple things used there and then down here i'm just going to make that one a secondary one so it'll be lighter and my paper may end up covering that anyway okay and where the cluster shows here Kind of, there's a big splatter, and I might like to do that, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary. Okay, I know I'm going to start with this, this piece of paper, and I'm just gonna put them down. I know that if I move them soon enough, quickly enough, I will um, where's my photo? Stars there. I had a couple pieces of paper over here. Okay, anyway, let me get this here. Line that up straight. And then I'm thinking the photo's gonna go maybe at the corner like that, but I'll see how I may want this to intersect that and then go like this. I like that. And you notice I'm not paying attention to whether the this gets any ink on it, because if it did, I'd probably like how that looked. 
Okay, now this is on foam. I'm gonna go ahead just to get the placement of everything else as a reference point. I'm gonna put that there. And then I know I want this, and I want that lime green part to show. So I'm probably gonna do it there. And I'm really just building this cluster as I go along with whatever I happen to have. So maybe I might want this. under there. This is the first time I've ever used that side of the paper. I fussy cut the flowers on the reverse side of that. The reverse side was the same on, um, okay, I know I'm going to put build this cluster over here with this as my primary piece of paper and this kind of like that and then I plan to do a star there and I'm maybe gonna do this little tiny black star as part of that. Okay, that works out. Now this, I don't wanna put it right there next to that floral. How about I do, I just start, I, I notice that some of these clusters are overlapping and some are not. I go here, and then this little smaller one will hang off of that kind of like this. And that's beginning to build our horizontal line, although I'm gonna drop it down here. And do I want this in there at all? I may just leave this one off. Okay, now I'm gonna go for my horizontal line well, first let me do the stamping. And I'm gonna do some uh, circles and geometrics. I'm looking for my little, and I'm gonna do all the rest of the stamping in black and I'm using my VersaFine, which is a really nice black. Okay, and I'm just gonna kinda go here with that, and maybe I'll do another one up here. Let me switch from a circle to a square. And I kind of like the square with the zigzags. So I'm gonna put that on there and ink it up. Put it right here and it kind of becomes part of the whole idea of, and I'm gonna do two of each shape. I may face orient this one differently. Let me 
overlap these green circles with that guy. I, I kind of want to do it parallel to the... Okay, that's good. And let me pick a diamond shape here. And I like this little open one. And I'm going to use it five times. Put this over here. I'm going to ink it up. There. Overlap that one. Come over here and overlap this. And then here. And I'll kind of get in this sort of messy area. Um, up here. Bridging that watercolor, maybe here, that is. I said five times, I'm, I know I've done it more, and then I may do three right here. I'll just leave those two. Let me do one here. Okay. And that may be all the stamping. Uh, wait, no, no, no. I'm going to do some words, some stamping of words and phrases. And there's a... Here's a, be happy, be bright, be you. Uh, I love that sentiment. So I'm going to kind of do it in a repetitive fashion so it kind of looks uh, like, it's, like it's a mistake. Kind of shadows Up here down here, that's what I, okay, and that's enough wordiness, I think, I'm going to put that away, so that ends the stamping for sure. My next thing I'm going to do is start adding these uh, Bramble Fox perspectives, and I've got a little uh, camera, little movie camera thing here. I want it to be kind of part of that. Um, be happy, be bright, be you. Okay, and then I'll start doing stars in miscellaneous places. And I'll be adding stars of a different type. I may add one up here. I kind of let the placement of certain elements determine the best place for other elements. So that star right there, it's close to the yellow, so that's good. And I like this star right here. Okay, I've got this piece. Do, do I need that piece? I don't think so. I think I have all the pieces I need on there. Um, but it was good to have them, uh, 
Anyway, I'm going to do some enamel dots. Um, these little kind of glittery, glittery ones. Um, kind of clear or silver, however you perceive them. Um, come on. That's, of course, sticking much better to my finger than it is to the paper. And I'm just going to use the little ones, just enough for a tiny bit of sparkle. One right here might be good. One up here. Okay, next thing I'm going to do before I get too far along is I'm going to try to get my title on. And... I'm gonna have it span this other writing, and that's intentional. I think that's what's done on the original. It's gonna say capture, and then in the same color, this really cute font. That says fun. Okay. Thank you, Vicki Booten, for that incredible thing. And these little plus signs are going to kind of just randomly go where I feel like putting them. Is that all? Okay. I have this kind of pretty blue in here. Let me put it down here where it's an, kind of an unexpected color, and I think I've got too much monochromatic green going on there. I've got this arrow, and I thought I could have it span these three layers of paper. For that. Okay, I think I'm done with that one. Let me get a couple of these um, black hearts. This is a line a Valentine line designed by Amber LeBow, one of my favorite digital designers, um, for um, fancy pants. And I love the little, the shapes, the kind of um, freehand drawn look, but the stickers themselves are kind of hard to get to sometimes. A little hard to Pull out. I want to use three of these, and I want to maybe use them in conjunction with these little diamonds, uh, if I can make that work. Let me get a medium-sized one. I've used a large, a small, and I think we need a medium-sized one maybe up in here somewhere, but that doesn't change that color profile, does it? You know, I'm almost about ready to give up. Maybe I could get some help from my tweezers here. I'm not sure why that is. It's a different um, style of manufacture. And when I'm finished with it, I think this will be an amazing stencil. But right now, it's just a kind of a pain. Um, let's see. Maybe I want it here. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to go to the foam bits that I have. I have this little guy, which kind of looks like it might want to go over this uh, messy green part. I've got this heart that could maybe crisscross with that overlap there. Um, these little hearts I could do as a, as a group of three, kind of right over here by this diamond. There we go. Uh, what else would be good? Um, these foam, uh, let me put the star 
on here. We don't, I don't have any stars, on, well, other than the Bramble Fox stars. So let me do that. And I'll do a heart. Do I need that heart? I think I won't use that heart. I'll just let these be. I'll use the three stars. One, maybe right here, because it's foam, it can kind of span that. And here's the other star. Maybe I'll put it kind of right there off at a wonky angle. I've got the hashtags. Um, maybe that can go on a piece of paper. And this hashtag maybe can go over here. Okay, what we have now is a very messy page, but if you look at this one, also very messy. And what I'm going to do now is kind of try to see if I can capture anything of a horizontal line here. Maybe with a couple layers of this. And I don't, I tell you what I can do. I think I'm going to let it be a curvy horizontal element. I won't call it a line. I will start it here. and let a little tail kind of hang off of it. Maybe go here and push it up onto that. And then maybe let it, and I'm having trouble because I have a little glue on my fingers. Um, do this. And what this stands in for, in a way, is if you'll notice, there's the kind of the horizontal line, but it's got these little um, zigzags across there. And so I'm going to have just a more flowing sort of zigzag, and maybe I'll let it go around here here this way. It goes there now, so the natural line, I really don't, I want it to be kind of a natural curve, and I'm not liking what's there. Let me twirl it around. Kind of like that. I'm going to let it intersect right on top of that heart. And where's my popsicle stick? Okay, there. And then this. I want it to look, <laughs> for all this careful placement, what I want, what I'm trying to achieve, is the look that the thread just was dropped there. And it's kind of how much makeup you have to use to get that look of no makeup. Okay, okay, so that guy's there. I'm just gonna let that be. Okay, I'm done. I'm 
kind of happy with it. It looks like um, I took a dirty piece of paper and put a pretty picture and some pretty papers on it. So there's the original. Um, this is mine. It was fun with uh, inks and watercolors and straws and um, I may add some journaling, maybe kind of right over this pink part, uh, or, or maybe I won't. So we shall see. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you tomorrow with another off the board Pinterest pin come to life. Bye.